Hello guys and welcome back to another reaction here on my channel. So today we are going to react to the life of Super Mario Bros. Wonder. As you can see, I just posted it just started and I'm a bit sick as you can hear maybe, but doesn't matter without further ado. Let's just jump into it and see what they present us. So we start off with all the characters. Welcome to the Flower Kingdom, a not right. so distant land just beyond the Mushroom Kingdom. Mario and friends were invited here by the benevolent Prince Florian. Okay, that's the prince that we Bowser, saw in the trailer. The king of the Koopas had other plans. Bowser with looks just a real touch nice. Of the mysterious like Wonder Flower. Sprite-wise. Bowser merged with Prince Florian's castle. Okay, so Bowser is the castle? Interesting. But those plants look dangerous. And the music. Found power, chaos spread across the land. Now it's up to Mario and friends to stop Bowser and we were just happy. And okay, save cool. the Flower Kingdom. Oh, Nabbit is there as well. Yeah, probably for the easy mode. In this presentation, we'll go over what's new in Mario's latest 2D side-scrolling adventure, the Super Mario Brothers Wonder Game. All right. Let's jump in. We are ready. This That's the overworld? The Flower Kingdom. Oh, Flower Kingdom. Okay. It's made up of six distinct worlds that circle the Petal Isles, making a total of seven areas to explore. Your adventure begins among the tubular hills of Pipe Rock Plateau. New enemies, okay, cool. The jumping also sounds different. Once you get past the freezing foot of the mountain, you'll be aiming for new heights in Fluff Puff Peaks. Number platforms that fall? Many trials await amidst the picturesque scenery and radiant cascades okay, I think we only have completely balls. new enemies. Traverse multiple islands. Dive into the sea. And spelunk through caves at the heart of the Flower yeah. Kingdom, the Petal Ooh, Isles. Okay. There's also an arid desert with white sand as far as the eye can see. An uncanny forest lined Yeah, so for now all the worlds are like a scorching known, hot world. Like a mountain lava and everything. But and more. A rich can you spikes that throw fire? World. Cool, that's cool. Move around the map. The world, world music is amazing. You can even walk freely through open areas you find. In these spaces, if you're not quite ready to take on a particular course, you can try a different one instead. Play them in any order you like. Okay, good. So you don't have uh, you to course, follow the courses. You can quickly the come back to it through the courses menu. It's an easy way to find the ones you want to play again. Nice. Okay. While in courses, you might notice some talking flowers. Get close and onward and upward. How'd you get up here? What a pretty sunset. They'll talk to you, livening up your adventure. Okay, so they're just the here, so you don't feel lonely, I guess. Give you hints. Wonder if you can get over there. Or coins. You'd share your water with me? Okay. Characters. Okay, let's see. Maybe some new ones that we haven't seen. Besides Mario, you can also just play as it. Luigi. Peach. Daisy. Daisy, nice. One of two toads. And Toadette. We haven't we seen Toadette as well, song, right? So go with your favorite or mix it up. Yeah, we haven't seen Toadette. And they don't have special the Yoshis things. and Nabbit, okay. on the other hand, won't take damage. They're a great choice if you're looking for a more easygoing experience. Okay, so the Yoshis are Careful, though, they'll also still lose a life if they fall down a pit. So watch your step. The easygoing characters. Additionally, the Yoshis can flutter jump, eat objects, and spit them back at enemies. Who was that face, Yoshi? Speaking That's of enemies, a strange here are face. some of the new ones you'll find. 
Okay. Hobby cats will copy the player and jump when you jump. So like the ninjas or the melon piranha plants will spit seeds from their mouths. The mice in Super Mario 3D Condors World. Will fly at you and stick their beaks and the uh, melon piranhas along. aren't they also in Yoshi's? They'll even plow through goo. Uh, Yoshi's Adventures just world and stuff. Mumsies can be unraveled if you position yourself just right. Mamas will eat anything that comes too close to their gaping mouths. Okay. There are plenty more new enemies for you to discover as well. Okay, those look creepy. Goombas, Koopa Troopas, Boos. We know them. So it's and good other to have familiar foes familiars, are also yeah. here. Nice. Ooh, new power-ups. Let's, let's see. Let's look at the new power-ups you can find. Okay, with the elephant, we saw that. Elephant form, make the most of your nose and your size. Swing okay. the trunk to attack enemies. Destroy blocks and even do this. That's cool. In this form, you can easily break through blocks and dash across large gaps. So you also see? had water in his nose? If you store water in your oh, trunk okay. and spray it out, who knows what might happen? Thank you. That trunk sure is useful, huh? Wow. It's not just Mario, though. Luigi, the Toads. <laughs> but, okay, that's cursed. That's just cursed. Peach, Daisy, and Toadette all have elephant forms as well. That's, the I don't know. The form allows you to blow light floating bubbles. They can be used to capture and defeat enemies from a distance. Okay, like the It'll blue Yo baby Yoshi in Super Mario boats. 3D, uh, yeah. new Super Mario Bros. Wii U. You can take care of enemies surrounding you in one go. Defeat typically impervious foes and knock out baddies on the other side of walls. Can you also use it as a platform? You can even yeah. Jump off them. yeah. Like platforms. Perfect. Good to know. Bubbles make it a bit easier to get to those hard to reach places. Yahoo! Just like that. <sighs> While in drill form, you'll get drill a Mario? What is that that? drill. This it's makes dealing funny. with spiky or hard headed enemies of breeze. So it's like or the shell. Drill down. Shell it met also in allows you to burrow and move maker. through the ground. In a tough Similar. spot, dig away. You can even burrow Ooh. into the ceiling. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, wasn't expecting company. Plus, the classic fire form makes a return. Good to know that we have the familiar oh, power-ups as well. Hang on to an extra power up. Okay, yeah, that's cool. In a pinch, bust out a power up. Or swap them to better fit the situation. Nice. Okay, for now, just amazing things. Let's see the wonder flower now. This also realize my camera flower. is bugging a lot, a so maybe in the we don't kingdom. really it said they see my face, but you'll hear me, power, so that's okay. And release it when in bloom. That's the power Bowser was after. When you touch a wonder flower in a course, a wonder effect will trigger causing some interesting changes. Pipes might start moving. Yeah, we saw that in the trailer. A stampede of enemies can appear. The terrain may tilt. Okay. You can end up in a free fall. So is it like mini games Bubbles that can happen? Uh, bubble up. What is going on? Can <laughs> what is this? Or you might float through space. Okay, that's just. There are even wonders where your character transforms. Mario you might just have a trip. A Goomba? <laughs> what is that? Or a spike ball? We saw that. So it's not a power up. It's just a wonder or effect. Up like a balloon. When you touch a and we have power, always expect the unexpected. Balloon Mario back. Collect a wonder seed, and the course will return to normal. Okay, Some so it's like need to be unlocked using the wonder seeds you've collected. Mi mini games in the level. All right. You'll also earn a wonder seed as thanks from a poplin when you clear a course. Okay, so you have one seed guaranteed every time you finish a course. All right. Edges. As your adventure progresses, you'll unlock in-game badges that change up the way you play when equipped. 
There are a okay. variety of badges, each with its own special ability. Let's go over some of them. Okay, so you, you can slow your fall with the parachute. So you upgrade badge. your ability, or you can equip them, so you don't Enhance have all of your them. your wall jumping abilities with the wall climb jump badge. Unleash a burst of speed while underwater by equipping the dolphin kick badge. You can also break underwater blocks. Charge up a bounding leap with the crouching high jump badge. Okay. Shoot vines in midair. Oh, that's then cool. Stick to walls with the grappling vine badge. Recover from dangerous drops instantly with the safety bounce badge. Easily find important items using the sensor badge. That's also super cool to find stuff. Draw in nearby Mula with the coin magnet badge. Mm -hmm. Become invisible to your enemies and yourself with the invisibility that's... badge. I don't you know if that's not stop useful. Dashing with the jet run badge. Automatic and running, you can okay. Run the air for a bit. There are many more badges with different abilities, from the convenient to the unconventional. So Only one depend badge can be equipped per course, depending on the course, the world map, or when starting a course. Or if you don't make it through, grab a different badge and try again. Okay, so depending on the level, you need to equip one. Some okay. badges can be earned by clearing special badge challenge courses. Go for it. While others can be purchased from poplin shops on the world map. Be sure to exchange flower coins you collect in courses. You can buy one ups as well. Okay, now multiplayer things. Up to four people can play locally on the same Nintendo Switch system. So locally? Pick your favorite character and jump into the adventure together. I don't think they will have online. If a player is defeated in local co op, their character will float around the course as a ghost. So not if that bubble anymore, it's just a ghost. Before time runs out, they'll jump right back into action. Your group won't lose a life either. Okay. And just so you know, if someone is playing as a Yoshi, you can jump on their back and ride them around the course. Even if you're also playing <laughs> as a Yoshi. All right. Or if you're an elephant. Poor Yoshi. Online? Okay, they have online. If you connect online, you might see other players on the world map and in mm, courses. What? These are people from around the world, enjoying the game in real time, appearing as live player shadows. Ah, okay, so Just they like don't in local co -op, intervene if with you. Defeated, you can come back to life by bumping into a live player shadow. Okay, that's kind of cool players as well. Send greetings and share in-game items. Even though you won't be playing together directly, you'll get to experience Actually, that's a not a bad... with other players online as you enjoy this new adventure together. That's a huge ship. That's not a bad... A um... in a course. Standees can revive ghosts, so place them in not-so-easy areas and bad help decision I want to save it. Okay, so you can place a statue you can of yourself. Standee surprises from the poplin shops to add more to your collection. You never know which standee you'll get. And when then you, you can collect them as well. With an online player or their standee, you'll see their username and heart points. These points show how much they've helped other players on their adventure. Reviving ghosts, gifting items, reaching the goal pole together, and more will okay. earn you heart points. So it's not you play online with just people play the levels. While playing online, you also have the option of creating a room to get together with I friends. I mean, you can do that as well. In a shared room, you can see which courses your friends are playing, enter courses together, and even race through certain courses. Start a race by hitting the race block. Okay, that's cool. So they're kind of ghosts, it's not like they're it. real in the level, but still interactable. That's super cool. Reaching the goal pole isn't the only way to finish a race, though. In some courses, you'll need to grab a wonder seed or defeat Bowser a boss Junior? instead. Okay. Whether you're casually connecting we didn't see with many bosses yet, we just see him. Or syncing up with friends for riveting races. You so let's see if there are more. With online play. What a beautiful day. Don't think they will show bosses yet, right? Okay, we are a pot, but okay. Yeah, tons of new enemies. Captain Toad is back. All right. 
and just elephants everywhere. That's pretty nice with the shadow thing, and that's okay. So a lot is going on here. When Super Mario Brothers Wonder launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 20th. October 20th. Plus, a so, new Nintendo Switch OLED model Mario Red Edition is also on the way. If you look closely, you'll find Mario and some hidden coins. That's the actually Nintendo super cute. Switch OLED model but, Mario Red Edition I mean, launches October Game Software not included is also kind of why why Nintendo just include the game. But yeah. That's it with the direct, a small direct. There isn't anything else. And I just wanted to check out the the overworld real quick. Let's see. Yeah, like that. So let's put the speed down a little bit. Making a total of Yeah. Okay, so we have Pipe Rock Plateau. Then we have Fluff Puff Peaks, Shining Falls, they're not unlocked yet. And then the center, Petal Island, where we idles, where we maybe start the story and then we get thrown into Pipe Rock Plateau, etc. Okay, so we don't have the regular eight or nine, we just have six. Maybe seven with a secret world. But uh, yeah, I think that's it. But the overworld, anything special? Not really. So yeah, I would say guys, this will be it for my reaction. I hope you liked it and I hope you are ready for this game. I am super ready and I will obviously play it on this channel. Regarding uh, games, more will come soon. I'm still recovering a little bit, but I recorded some. I just need to cut them. So guys, channel will start again. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next part of whatever is coming. Bye.